friend, Comet. It's time. Christmas. There, I said it. And I don't care who knows it, because I love tinsel, I love Rudolph, I love cranberries, I love baby Jesus. Before he went all hippie with the sandals and long hair. Well, no, 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 Susan, I'm going to talk about Jesus on the radio. And you know why? Because it's his birthday tomorrow. Am I right, folks? And speaking of reminders, it's almost time for the big charity food drive at the mall this afternoon. Our very own weatherman of action, Sturman Norman, is going to be down there helping out like the true Christmas angel he is. Norman, is there any truth to the rumor that a very special guest is going to be making an appearance at the food drive? Norman? Hmm? Oh. Hey, Norman, he's running me a, <laughs> a little Christmas card. This is exciting. What's it going to say? Oh, Norman. Susan, did you see that? You know who saw that? Jesus saw that. And his dad, he, he saw that. All right, folks, looks like uh, Norman's hitting the trail, so uh, we'll just get this Christmas party started without him. Yes, sir. We're going to share the spirit. We're going to deck some halls. I'm going to get Susan under the mistletoe. And you, my little elves, you're going to listen to one of my favorite songs. So here's to the season. Here's to you, Daily Downs. Favorite time of year is here. So Let's get this Christmas party down. started right. I'll fill my cup with Christmas cheer. Santa's come to town. Girlfriend's late. Impossible. We use protection. <laughs> I made the mistake of watching this alone last night, but nobody can know my holidays. Okay. December 25th, time, 1,326 hours. Constable Scott Peters conducting a preliminary walkthrough. I used to babysit his son. Well, hand place on the wall. Make sure you get that. A lot of blood in here. <sighs> Victims of male, Caucasian, late teens. Possibly a student here. Oh, boy. Body showing signs of obvious staging. Suggesting a ritualistic killing. Time and cause of death to be determined by autopsy. Got some writing on the wall over here. Unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. Got that. Gospel Bible passage. Uh, yeah. What would he play here? Scott, what, what, what are you hearing? Poor baby wakes the little Lord Jesus. No crying, he makes. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, uh, why was that, that cop singing that song? No one knows. He went on stress leave after this and doesn't talk about it. Okay, and you still want to go down there just for some stupid school assignment? Man up, Dylan. Look, we obviously can't use the police video, so. We have to get our own footage. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> You're late. 
bitch. Sorry. Dad pulled his family truck out of his ass like an hour ago. Merry Christmas. Get you through any door in the school. I love you so much right now. Well, Caprice, I can't believe you actually got them. That's my honey. <laughs> Stick his fingers and belly down. Don't get busted. Christmas Eve, and you want to drive to see your old, who, as far as I know, doesn't even like you. She doesn't like anyone. Okay, fine, but you're dragging us along with you. You know what? And I expect everyone to be on their best behavior. Okay, we're not in St. Bart's for Christmas. That's fine. Or even Aspen. That's okay, look, I just wanted to have some bonding time. You hear that? I want this to be a happy, loving family. So you want a Christmas miracle? All right, son. Let's get that tree. Machine. The morph machine was the motorcycle, and the guy had the green vest. Not the blue one, the other guy was the morph machine. You okay? We can go back if you want. Okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Not here. What do you mean, not here? Oh, baby, look at those. Huh? Tell me you will find the perfect Christmas tree. Look, you're right through here. Good. Nice example for a cop, Scott. In the middle of nowhere. No one's going to even know we're here. Go on. Come on. Right behind you, son. Come on. Don't be scared. <laughs> Quick rope in her. Let's get on with it. Thanks. Five, four, three. Christmas, usually a time of joy and celebration, but for St. Joseph's Academy, a time of mourning. Exactly one year ago, last Christmas Eve, the school was the scene of an unimaginable crime when two of its students, Connor and Jenna, seen here, were found, murdered, in cold blood. With the killer still at large, the atmosphere here in Bailey Downs is truly grim this holiday season. I'm Molly Simon, and this is Horror in the Hallway. Wait, cut. What? Are we really going with that cheesy title? Your opinion would mean a lot more to me if you weren't feeling media arts. Shh, shh, shh. Hold on, guys. I think I hear something. Shit. It's Principal Hammer. We just need to be careful. Yes, I... I know. Listen, listen to me. remember us in the will. It's about time she invited us here. She did invite us, right? No, I think of it as a Christmas surprise. Taylor? Come on, tis the season. She'll be thrilled. Mm. You see, the, the thing is, well, to be honest, Tante had, I know you and Mom had difficulties and i just thought we could you know get it out there and deal with it dear maybe now's not a good time 
It's Christmas. What could be a better time? Christmas is all about forgiveness and family and tradition. If you just believe, if you let that spirit in, it, it just it fills you. Don't touch that! It's very old. Is there some place more private you and I could talk? I want to show you something I think you might be interested in. Hmm. Come. Four hours in the car and the old bat doesn't even offer me a drink. I'll help myself, thank you. Look at this place. It's like Paul Bunyan and Count Dracula gayed up and built a dream home. That is not a toy. Oh, hi there. Where are the... I know who you are. Okay. This is Krampus, right? What's a Krampus? He's like an anti santa Claus, a demon who punishes the naughty. He whips him, um, chains him up, throws him in a sack, stuff like that. When Krampus knocked, the demon hunts the wicked from sunset to sunrise. That's fine. He comes for little boys who touch things they shouldn't. Oops. Duncan! That was very unwise. We will pay for it, of course. Pick it up. Girl, what have you done? I did nothing. The boy had an unfortunate accident. Take your family and leave. No. no let's not be no, hasty. Not. I feel one of my spells coming on. I, I cannot entertain guests. Goodbye. So, what are we up against this year, Jingles? A uh, blizzard warning along the eastern seaboard. Never been a blizzard that troubled me. Uh, it's bad. It's really bad. Another signature. I'm worried about the trade winds. Trade winds. Safety plan, Santa. Great, great, great here in the room. Lots of kids are depending on tonight going off without a hitch. <laughs> Shiny. Take a break, everyone. Even Christmas magic needs a little fuel. Delicious. <laughs> have a cookie, Shiny. No, I... I don't know. No, thank you. It'll keep your strength up for the long shift. Not hungry. Not hungry? They're cookies. You're being silly, Shiny. You know how much you love my cookies. I said I don't want a goddamn cookie! You rain that fucking snow <laughs> Up too. This tree is the way better than the one that's bombed. We did it. It's stuck. We can't do this again. Oh, boy. Oh, they won't even miss it. They got enough trees around. Look at this, man. This is a perfect tree. It smells like pine. You love pine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's going to fit up the stairs. Oh, it will. It'll be fine. Trust me. Okay. Yeah. Where's Will? He was right here with us. Will? Will? Will! Baby? Will, come on, we gotta go. See, time to play hide and seek now. Where are you, babe? We gotta go. Come on, son. Will! Will! Come on, boy, stop playing. Mom, we gotta go. Baby. Mom? Come on, honey, let's Wait, go. where are you? Dad! Where you go? You gonna go far? Over here. Oh God! Well, baby. This way. Over here. Sir.
Pregnant. It was a big deal back then if we weren't married, you know, you had to keep them out of sight. Didn't they shut this place down before it became a school? Yeah, yeah, there were a lot of weird stories going around. Like, this 15-year-old girl claimed she was a virgin. They said it was a miracle, like the Virgin Mary, but no one believed her. So what happened there? Don't you know, Ben? That was your mom. No, actually, she died trying to abort her baby. Let's go. Connor and Jenna were killed. Are you getting this? Did I see that? I don't forget anything. Yeah? Yeah. See? Stick to camera work, Dylan. Words aren't really your thing. Just want to make sure there's no more horror in the hole. Goddamn family for five minutes. I think we're pretty normal compared to those two. That creep deliberately baited Duncan. Sweetheart, it wasn't your fault. I don't know why your aunt got so mad over some stupid piece of kitsch. She wasn't mad. She was scared. I can't believe you dragged us here on Christmas Eve so that you could hustle your own aunt. That is a new low, Taylor, even for you. It's not a hustle. The Bioplex is a means of integrating technology into a sustainable future where mm -hmm. scientific, scientific innovation is a shared experience. Fine, yeah, it's all good when it pays for the house and the vacations and the school and the orthodontist, but oh, otherwise, no, it's a big joke. <laughs> crucified exactly one year ago today on Christmas Eve. Connor's neck was broken. And over here, 
Jenna's mutilated body was found hanging off some metal piping in the ceiling. Why would somebody go to so much effort? That is just one of the many unanswered questions in this baffling case. How's it look? You guys, it's still here. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. That's fucking creepy. It's from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, about the birth of Jesus. Okay, this place is tripping me up. I think we've got everything we need. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to argue with you there. three times, none of them fit. Come on, baby. Smile. Well, you okay? You want to support? I'm just sit there. Look like you've never seen a Christmas tree before. Why don't you hold your man, right? Yeah, I like that one. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, right there. I wasn't around much last Christmas, I know. This year we're having fun, right? Slow down, Will. Someone's worth looking at the It's his second serving. Mmm. It must be good. It's making me hungry. Let's eat. You're eating too fast. You're gonna get a tummy ache. Hey. Come on, you hear your mother talking to you? All right, I think that's enough. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Answer me. Go to your room right now. Christmas, the most magical time of year. But in Bailey Downs this Christmas, it's different. It's going to be. It's true, my friends, and you know it is. So before I put another jingle in your stocking, I want you to think about the little ones in your life and give a thought to the little ones who aren't with us anymore. Yeah, this next one's for them, for Jenna and Connor from St. Joseph's Academy taken from us last year, cruelly. I know they're listening. Somewhere out there. I 
God. What's going on? It's the elves. I fear they may all become infected. Infected? What do you mean? Others are sick? It's worse than that. Well, what happened? Shiny's body is gone. It was laid to rest. But now, it may already be too late. But this doesn't make any sense. Elves becoming the walking dead? No, it does not make any sense. Unless he is behind it. Stand back, my love! Risen from the dead. Quick, go, hide. Stay back, Jingles. Supposed to be at the mall. We're helping with the food drive. I'm just gonna care. We've all got places to be. It's Christmas Eve, bro. There's gotta be another way out of here. Nativity scene. The school didn't put it up this year. You can't openly display a nativity scene anymore. It's the war on Christmas. Damn it. No oh, boys. Look, it's freezing down here. I can hear it. Sam's thing is on. and wait it out, I'm sure that somebody's gonna notice. Only Caprice knows we're down here and she's out of town. The school's not gonna reopen for another week and a half. Look, if there was ever a time to notice three missing kids, tonight would be it, right? You always open one gift. Every Christmas Eve, we eat some of champagne, watch the sound of music. Before we go to bed, we each open one gift. Not this year. Hell of a Christmas, huh? Hey. Not pizza and champagne, but... Merry Christmas. What are you still in? I didn't realize how starving I am. Yeah. What if he comes back? The guy who killed Jenna and Connor, what if he comes back tonight? I mean, we're trapped down here. And there's a psychopath on the loose. Psycho's already here. Principal Herod. I'm sure he locked the door on us. Who else could it be? I get that he's creepy. Okay, but that, that doesn't mean he's a killer. Then what's he doing here on Christmas Eve? It makes matters worse. I gotta piss. Sure, Joe won't mind. Try to borrow this. She'll know something's up when Dylan doesn't call her tonight.
What is it? What is it? Hey. Hey. How's your inhaler? Have you noticed Will hasn't had to use his inhaler? Really? Well, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Something seems wrong. Maybe we should take him to the doctor? The doctor? Come here. You know... They say your life open one day before Christmas. Scott. I'm not right now. Well, I, I just figured, you know, it's it's been a while. You should have stayed on the road. Exactly where am I trudging through the woods, boots? Look, it's a help us shave a half hour off our walk back to Edis. Plus, I gave you all the option of staying in the car. Yeah, or Mom and I would be easy prey for drunk hillbilly rapists. No thanks, Dad. We should make weapons. What? 
In case whatever dad nearly hit comes and hunts us, the sun has set. It is officially Krampus now. The night of Krampus. Son, that Krampus is a load of old German. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What happened? Uh, oh, my God. God. You're bleeding. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, am, am I shot? I don't know. Duncan, get back here! Uh, 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 Duncan! I got it! And we're counting down to Christmas, and Dangerous Dan is pulling his annual double shift to stay with you until the end. What? What? We're... Uh, okay, well, we're going to check in with good old Storm and Norman down at the Charity Food Drive. Hey, Norman. Normie, you little, uh, little scratchy there, buddy. What? I did press the button, Susan. Why don't you press your own button? Ah! Sorry, folks. Looks like we got some of those winter weather technical difficulties. Too many reindeer in the atmosphere. <laughs> That's my bet. So let's uh, throw another eggnog on the fire. No, wait a minute. Let's, uh, let's throw another log on the fire and pour yourself another eggnog. You know, get some good Christmas vibes. Out to Susan, who is seriously harshing my buzz right now. And listen to this holly, jolly classic.
you all right? Hello? Is this the Peters household? Yes. Have yourself a nice Christmas tree, did you? Who is this? You don't know me, just consider me a concerned neighbor. You're on my land, you took one of my trees, and I saw your license plate. What do you want? Your boy, how is he? Something happened to him in the grove. Look, I don't I know... Said, did something happen to your boy? He got lost, but we found him later. No, you didn't. They still lost. Now we haven't got much time, so you're gonna have to do as I say. Bring the changeling back to the forest, where you lost your son. Changeling? What the hell is that? Ma'am, that ain't your son. Don't call again. Wait! about you. What is it? You okay? Just come. I have to show you something. Should I wait, Ben? Where are you going? Boy? Okay. Serious? Whoa, okay. Molly, 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 whoa. Hey, this isn't gonna happen, Molly. I have a girlfriend. I think you're in shock or something. Well, is that you? I shouldn't have lost my head like that, I'm sorry. That's just been a little stressed lately. I'm trying. I'm trying to be better.
Scott? Walk. We have to find Duncan. I can go, I can go. Dad, no, you can't. Oh, we have to say there's uh, something still out there. He is out there by himself. Mom, what if it really is Krampus? We have to stay in this church until sunrise. That is insane. Let's go. Yeah, it is. Church, church. We have to confess our sins. I'm not gonna make it to sunrise. I, I've lost too much blood. We have to get past that thing. They say it comes from the wicked. Maybe if we confess in the church. We can absolve ourselves of our sins. That is ridiculous. I saw this. In what? From Aunt Edda's. I don't know why I can't really help myself. But honestly, I'm not as bad as, as those other kids with the sex and the drugs and the cutting and... Mom, I don't do that. I just steal stuff. Stupid stuff. Huh. I'm sorry. Even if this is that Krampus thing, none of this is going to help, okay? That monster took Duncan, and Duncan was innocent. No, he wasn't. Wait, what do they have in all our pets? I'm going out there myself. Mom, the day our cat disappeared, I found Duncan in the garage with a garbage bag. He had blood all over his hands. He was smiling. No. No. This is your fault. If you had just spent more time with him, but all you care about is your stupid, precious business. There is oh. no business. What? Bioplex has been dead for years. I just raised money to pay debts to keep things going. It's all going to come crashing down. Edda was my last hope, and she thinks I'm a swindler. She's probably right. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're going to lose everything. And I'm going to jail. <laughs> Why would you? That was the only way I could keep you. I mean, come on. A guy like me with a woman like you. I wanted to give you nice things. A nice home. Make you happy. Give you the life you deserve. I just thought that you weren't interested anymore. Oh, no. I did it all for you.
Too cold like that. Where's Dylan? In the room. That room? What's he doing there? He wanted me to join him, but I wanted to stay here with you. Me. What did I do to you? <laughs> Who's there? Dylan, is that you? Dylan? Dylan? Listen now. What do I do? Listen good. You gotta bring the creature back to the grove. But you gotta be careful. It won't come willingly. It's tasted human pleasures. What about Will? The only way is to bring the changeling back. But don't let it sense your intention. It senses things. It cannot feel threatened. I'll be waiting. Hello? Hello?
to put your boots on? Come on, baby. You and Mommy can go have some fun outside. Yeah. Come on, buddy. chaos down at the mall, police and emergency crews are on the scene. We don't really know what's going on. Still no word from Storm and Norman. Well, I'm sure a crusty old bird like Norman will be fine. We give Norm a hard time around here, but he's the weatherman, so... I think he has a master's degree from Columbia or something depressing like that. But we love him, so check in as soon as you can, Normie. In the meantime, it's my job to keep the Christmas spirit alive, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's give this... Next Yuletide tune, a spin. It's okay. I brought it. Thanks. What's the matter with you? There's so many of them. It's all right. They're not going to test as long as I'm here. They're afraid of me. I know how to have them. Heard them good. The patrol's been on our land for generations. I guess you could say I watch over them. Thanks for bringing this one back. It would have sensed me coming from a mile away. I brought it. Like you said. Now where's my son? 
I don't know. What did you do? You keep running off, and now look what you've done. Now look what you've done! What are you doing? Where's my son? The little devils never listen. They never listen about how many times I tell them. I wish I could help, but I can't. It's not up to me. You lied to me. You killed my husband. Go hurry. Put the gun in. No. Oh. Grace wants me to carry her son. Who? That 15-year-old girl who tried to get rid of her baby. This is her room. Molly, where are you getting this from? Connor and Jenna wouldn't help her, but you and I did. I'm going to have a child. You brought us down here. You fucked me. You can do it!
Let it in and... He came after us. Hmm. So you kicked Gerhard out after you kicked us out. Then you put the cross on the door to protect yourself from Krampus, right? Yes. That's why you sent us away. What? You knew my fucked up family would be sharp for that thing, so you got rid of us. Oh, it, it isn't like that Sure it is. You thought Gerhard was going to turn, so you sent us away knowing that he would come after us. Oh. You sacrificed us for Krampus to save yourself as old ass. Oh, please. Please now, calm yourself. You don't know the forces that you are playing with. Yes, I do. Oh. And I know something else. You've been a bad boy. Oh, my God. Police are telling uh, people just to stay away. All right? Just keep clear of them all. And I know a lot of you are worried about your friends and family. Well, the best thing you can do is just stay put and pray for a Christmas miracle. Still no word on how many hostages there may be down there, but, uh, but just, just stay at home. For the love of God.
Who's there? Martha. Martha. Is that you? Leave me alone. It's safe now. It's over. <laughs> My darling. Keep them close and you treat them every Christmas like it might be your life. 